These videos are intended as refresher training and pointers for our contractor and wholesaler partners. These short videos are not intended to replace a Navian training class. Please contact your local wholesaler or manufacturer's rep to schedule a training class for your company. If you are a service tech servicing a Navian unit, please contact Tech Support at 800-519-8794 and record your service visit by the serial number for that unit. Navian records all service on all units for future reference. If you're a homeowner, please do not attempt to service or adjust your Navian on your own, as service by untrained persons voids the Navian warranty. Please go to Navian.com and use a dealer locator on the website to look up a local service provider in your area. In this video, we're going to explain the difference between a tank water heater and a tank water heater and how they work. The tank water heater has cold water that comes in through a dip tube and delivers cold water to the bottom of the tank. At the top of the tank your hot water pipe comes out and goes to your house. As hot water is drawn off the tank, cold water is coming into the tank and mixing at the bottom of the tank with the hot water near the bottom. There's a little layer of water between the hot water and the cold water and as you use hot water in the tank this layer is moving up. When you get to the end of the capacity of the tank, you start to notice your temperature in the shower or wherever decline as you're running out of hot water. As this happens, if it's gas, you have a burner that fires underneath. If it's an electric, your elements fire. And this is how the tank recovers that hot water. The recovery time is going to depend on the size of the tank, how much hot water was drawn off of it, and the elements capacity or the gas burner capacity of your tank. Tank water heaters are relatively inefficient. Even if you have a high efficiency burner to recover the tank, you have standby losses in the tank as this whole tank is radiating heat out of it all the time. And even your pipe up here, where hot water has migrated up the pipe, is radiating hot energy out into the house. All of this is called standby heat loss and part of the cost associated with a tank water heater and keeping that water hot 24-7, 365. In a tankless water heater, and this could be gas or electric, cold water comes in one side, runs through a heat exchanger, and this could be again gas or electric, and then out to the house on the hot water side through the pipe. The tankless water heater is always off. It only makes hot water when there's a flow established in the water heater. More about that in a moment. So because this water heater is always off, it takes about three to five seconds for the flow sensors to sense flow Tell the computer it's time to fire up, start the burner, and start making hot water. Now, as long as you're running flow to the house, this heater can make continuous hot water basically forever. So there's no more running out of hot water, no more having rules of who can shower when, or how many showers you can have in a row, or anything like that. A tankless water heater provides endless hot water to your house but they do need to be sized correctly for the demand of that house. Typically, that's the number of showers in the home. With no standby losses in the water heater or the piping, you can realize substantial energy savings in the home for the life of this product, which is typically double that of a tank. Also, because tankless water heaters are very small, you get a lot of space back in your home. The area where the big tank used to be is now going to be open for any other kind of storage or whatever you want to use it for. Also, because they're small, you can locate them closer in a lot of cases to the hot water demand, which can reduce your lag time, which is the time it takes for hot water to get from the water heater to those fixtures. Another nice feature is because it's a tankless water heater and there's no vessel of hot water, there's no tank to bust and flood your home. Everybody knows somebody who's had a tank water heater do that, and that is never going to be a problem with a tankless water heater. Most tankless water heaters have a minimum flow rate required to get them to fire up and make hot water. Usually that's around a half a gallon a minute. With the Navian tankless water heater, there's actually an internal buffer tank available for the A models. It's about the size of a thermos. It holds one liter of hot water. There's also an onboard circulator pump and controls, and you can set it up for internal circulation, which will keep this little tiny thermos bottle hot, which means there is no wait time for that heater to fire up, and there is no minimum flow rate for you to start getting hot water. Even a trickle of water will deliver hot water from a Navian NPE A model. So those are the main differences between a tank and a tankless water heater. Thank you for watching. Check out the rest of our tankless water heater series up there in the cards. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there. We'll see you next time.